So hi everyone, welcome to week seven's uh, non-technical exercise. I think for the past two weeks, you haven't really had a non-technical exercise. So um, I'm glad that we are back on this. Um, this week's exercise will be targeted at building your confidence and communication skills. Um, and I think that this will be a really important one. Um, just a note that we will be recording the, um, this, the ex part of the exercise will take place live um, and each live session will be recorded and we will mark those recordings um, and everyone's participation. So this is a case that you have to participate because we will grade depending on your participation and we will have the recorded sessions to grade off of. Um, so I'm just going to go into my presentation and then Mariam will do hers as well and then we'll take questions afterwards as usual. Mariam, can you just let me know if you can see my screen? Okay, so yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, thanks. So this week's exercise is debating and building confidence. So it will be a debate exercise. So I'm sure that uh, most of you know what a debate is. Maybe you had debate teams or clubs at your university. So that is what we will be doing. Um, I'm just going to explain a little bit about what debating is. Um, so it is a formal argument between two or more opposing sides, usually only two sides. And when I say argument, I don't mean an actual argument. What I'm saying is it's a more of a formal discussion. Um, in the debate, each side takes turns to state the arguments and reply to the previous argument. A moderator will oversee the debate and the moderator is usually a neutral person. And they will uh, organize the debate. They will um, let anyone know if they are speaking too long uh, or not making the point. Um, usually or not usually, but it's common for debates to have no declared winners, um, with the audience being left to make up their minds, or it might go to a vote, or a panel of judges might decide. So in this case, myself, Mariam, and Arun will be uh, in each of your uh, in your sessions, and we will, I guess, take the place of the audience as well as the judges. So a topic is chosen for debate. So you have already been grouped um, and each group has received a topic which you will have to do research on. Um, so there are two teams of speakers, the affirmative team and the negative team. So the affirmative team is for the topic and the negative team is against. Um, your given time to prepare. So in this case, the live debate will take place on Thursday. And that is a lot more time than one hour. So prof professional debate teams are often only given an hour to prepare. Each speaker presents a set amount of time. We alternate between affirmative speakers and negative speakers from both sides. And as I said, a neutral party will moderate. Um, it's judged and there may be an audience present. So as I said, Arun, Mariam or I will be there as the judge and the audience and we will also moderate. 
Um, so just to give you all some context, for example, this is an example only, someone might make the claim that I believe machine learning is the only way forward for agriculture in Africa. That is a statement that you are making. Um, so that is a statement you're making. You support the statement. So if that is a topic that has been chosen, you need to defend it and you need to provide evidence to explain why you believe that machine learning is the only way forward for agriculture in Africa. And the way it works is the, the opposite side who are against this have to argue about why they don't believe that machine learning is the only way forward for agriculture. Um, so just some tips, please use different um, provide definitions, don't use acronyms. So don't say AI, say uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, not ML engineering, just um, you need to be cognizant of the fact that not everyone is going to understand your acronyms as people in tech. I don't have a tech background, Mariam doesn't have a tech background, so you need to provide definitions and make it simple. You also won't have a lot of time to speak anyway. Um, and for whichever topic, whether you support or oppose, you have to provide at least two to three arguments. Um, so I presented the example in the previous slide, machine learning. I believe machine learning is the only way forward for agriculture in Africa. That is the claim that I'm making. So I've said here basic argument structure. Number one, the claim is machine learning is the only way forward for agriculture in Africa. Then number two, evidence. So then I need to provide evidence why I believe that. So it can be statistics, references, quotes, analogies. So this is where the research comes in. You have to do research because um, you, you have to win this debate in a way. Um, you need to convince everyone that you are right. So, or that your argument is correct. So please do the research and provide evidence. And then number three, impact. So explain the significance of the evidence. Um, does the evidence support the claim that you're making? Have you provided enough statistics references to support the claim? Um, are the examples um, of how machine learning has um, been positive for African agriculture? Um, so those are the things that you will have to do and you've already received the topics so you can start doing the research right away um there are quite a few benefits of debating as i said at the beginning of the session we are focusing on your communication and confidence skills and improving that um you will have to now speak in the setting via google meet with your fellow trainees and you will be presenting in a professional manner um, and myself, Maria Menorun, will be there. So you will have to really work to improve your confidence and communicate in a professional, professional manner. Um, debating also will improve your critical thinking skills, your problem solving skills, your creativity, working with others, um, leadership negotiation, and your social skills. Um, and the list goes on. There are countless benefits of debating. Um, and as usual, I've provided resources. Uh, these are all YouTube videos, so that might make it easier for you to learn everything you need to know about debating. They aren't very really long, so you can get through them quickly. Um, I figured that Having videos might be easier for you to understand than reading through everything. So that is it from me. Uh, Mariam, are you going to take over now? Yeah, Carrie, that was very detailed. Thanks for sharing. Um, let me put up my screen in a bit. 
I hope you can hear okay. me though. Uh, just let me know if you need help. Yes, I can hear you. I hope everyone else can as well. Uh, Stella, we will um, take questions afterwards, but Mariam will cover all of that um, in her slides. Mariam, are you good? Do you need any help? Uh, Mariam, if you can just let me know in the chat if I should present your slides along. Okay, I'm going to... She will rejoin in a moment, but I'll start uh, sharing the slides so i'll just wait for her to rejoin
Mariam, are you back? Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and start with her slides. She's not responding and whenever she can speak, I'll give over to her. So this will just, this presentation will just tell you how to do the exercise. Um, you have all been divided into six groups. Um, I think you might have gotten the group um, how you've been divided already or you will get it today um, you've all been assigned a topic and you can um, the debate will last for 30 minutes max for each group um, so 30 minutes is not a long time which is why preparation will be extremely important for this um, you have to, there will be two sides in each group, for and against. I think that that might be, that might have been divided in the group sheet as well, but if not, we can um, each divide you into a side. Um, there are three sections of the debate, the opening statement. So, um explaining what the topic is and uh so the affirmative section will say i support this topic because of this reason and the negative side will say i oppose this topic and then from there everyone will provide evidence um supporting or opposing and trying to convince the moderators that your argument is correct uh you will you will get some questions um from the moderator which you will have to respond to and this is where uh, your critical thinking skills will play a role because you will have to respond quickly and then you will um, everyone has to prepare a closing statement. Uh, so if you've ever watched a law show, a courtroom drama, they are opening and closing statements. So that's pretty much what this is. Um, and everyone should be prepared to ask questions to the other side. So you need to ask them questions to challenge their statements. After the sessions are complete, you have to prepare a Google document, two pages max. I cannot say this enough. Please do not submit a document that is more than two pages. And please take note of spelling alignment, paragraph structure, bullets. It's like you have to start looking at this as a very professional thing that has to be submitted. Um, so no more than two pages maximum. We will, if you submit something that is three pages or more, you will be, you will lose marks over that. Um, you need to cover the following things in the report how you felt about the way that you spoke during the debate with prepared remarks, how you felt about the way you spoke during the debate 
when asked to think on your feet, how you were able to manage the questions from the moderator, how you felt about the presentation skills of others in your group, what you would do differently next time. These are the time slots for all the uh, group sessions or all the debate sessions. You've only got 30 minutes. Um, all of the, the report and everything is due on Saturday, the 25th of June, 8 p.m. UTC. So those are the, that's the report. Um, and then we will receive the recorded session separately. Okay, so questions, everyone, please put up your hands and Mariam, are you back? Um, I'm not sure if she yes, can I'm speak here. or hear me, if there are any questions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I took over. I didn't know where you were. Um, if there are any questions, please go ahead and ask them. To answer Stella's question, your participation will be gauged by the research you did and how you present the research. So there are, I think each group has six people in a group and then one group has seven people because um, the trainees are an uneven amount. Um, so three will be on one side and three will be on the other side. Each, every um, one of the um, people in each group has to speak. You have to speak. You will be graded on um, presenting the evidence that you did research on. This, uh, I think that for this exercise, the communication part is the most important part or one of the most important parts of this exercise. A lot of how we will grade will be on what you contribute and speaking and stuff. And I genuinely don't want anyone to provide the the arguments in the chat or in the messages. If you please make um, arrangements to be in a place where you can speak and use your mic on Thursday, because I'm, I think that we will then grade you um, accordingly if you use the chat or the messages to contribute. We want to hear you actually speak. Um, Mariam, do you have anything to add? Okay. Um, okay, I think Daisy can go ahead and ask her question, then I would add okay. what I want to add. Yeah. So Daisy, please go ahead. Okay. Um thank you, Mariam. Um uh, one thing is not clear to me. Um are we therefore supposed to meet in groups of six or groups of three for those who are opposing and proposing? to agree on who's presenting what, or we are going to go about this individually and the groups are just for structuring? Um, so everyone has to speak. Um, I don't think you need to meet up. Um, find the people that is all in your group, which is on the document that you will receive if you haven't already. So find them and then amongst yourselves, just decide who will do the opening statements for and against um, and in which order you are going to speak. And that's it. I don't think you need to meet beforehand or prepare anything because um, your, you all have to do individual research um, as much as this is a group project, it is quite um, individual based in a way. Um, I think just send everyone can, if you want to make your own group or channel, whatever on Slack, well, not a channel, but a group, then just um, 
do that, figure out who is going to speak, uh, which side you are on, and the topic, and then the research is up to you. Um, that is individual. Does that answer your question, Daisy? Um, yes, it does. Only it conflicts with the, the presentation. Um, so maybe you can tell me if I got it wrong. Um, you mentioned that the presentation has three sections and someone, um, each person has to give an opening statement and then you will get a question from the moderator and uh, give a closing statement. Is that, is that correct? Um, I think that we probably messed up on the presentation just a bit. It's only one person from each side gives a, an opening statement, right, Maria? Oh, Carrie, can I come in? Can I come in? Yes, please. Yes, Maria? Everyone is giving an opening statement, actually. Everyone, everyone is supposed to give an opening statement. So in what, in relation to what this is asking, can you? Yeah, sorry, I got it wrong. Sorry, Daisy. Go ahead, Maria. So everyone will give an opening statement, but it's 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 not a bad idea if every group comes. Um, I'm not sure if she, if something happened with the mic. Um, okay, there's a lag. Then maybe if you can type it in the messages, Mariam. Um, so the aliens existing thing, as much as it is a theory, you have to present evidence to make us think that it is fact if you are on the for side. So if you decide that you are, you agree that aliens exist, you need to go do some research. So there are a lot of things from the United States about Area 51, UFOs, uh, there are a lot of supposed scientific evidence that there's life on other planets so it's a theory but you have to convince us that it's a fact if you are supporting the the statement so um this will also be about your confidence you need to be confident enough to make us believe that aliens exist. Um, Daisy, I think Mariam put some... Okay, it's in the messages to answer your question, I think. Are there any other questions? Okay, Mariam, it seems there aren't any other questions. Do you think we should wrap up? Or... Yeah. So, your communication and sparring skills. Um, it's going to require a lot of talking from everyone. And I would love to hear everyone speak on the day. But you only have 30 minutes as a group, so you also do not have that much time. So you cannot 
you need to get to the point pretty quickly is what I'm trying to say. Go ahead, Rafa. Hi, Gary. Uh, so when you say that we have 30 minutes, I think that's true. But that's been like for the debate, for the whole debate between the, the far and uh, the opposite side. Yes. Or, so okay. you, uh, th so there's three people for and three people against. So if you do an opening statement of five minutes, and then um, twenty minutes for each person to present their arguments, and five minutes for the closing statement, you should be fine. Um, and then questions in between. Uh, and this is where it's important for you to stick to the point, um, give your evidence and move on so that the next person can speak because, um, yeah, and also the opposing team, you know, should ask them questions as well. So, I mean, you can make a statement in less than a minute and move on. It does not have to be long and complicated. Uh, Mariam, should we wrap up early or what do you think? There aren't many people here. Okay, I think we can probably wrap up early then. You will get the slides as per usual in the channel, the careers channel. You should receive the actual report um, exercise document today and the grouping how you've been divided into groups and then do your research watch the videos use the resources and you will all be fine um we are here if you have any questions so thanks everyone for attending